Let God's love unfold in us with hearts to love unconditionally. Let love reveal who we are globally committed servants to the commandment to serve our neighborhood through agape love. God, in the name, Father God, and protect us. That we will let God's love define us as faithful disciples of Christ, fulfilling our missionary mandate. God, in whose life is shape us. That we let God's love carry us into all the world with courage and hope. God, to whose glory we have been called, be our strength as we go forth, reflecting your love and make a difference in the lives we touch and serve. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, now we will have the offering. Um, we will take, take cash out, and Monisha will be coming around for those of you who actually have cash. Um, give us one moment, please. And you can find the cash out on the program, the Birmingham Thank you. I <laughs> Providence, Rhode Island, and came to the South to attend Livingston, Livingstone College in Southbury, North Carolina, where she married Reverend George Clinton Clinton on May 25, 1898. Clinton, 71, when she received the award, had accomplished much as a mother, civil leader, and religious educator in the state of Kentucky. As a widow, she raised four sons and three daughters, four of whom went on to become college professors. All seven of Clement Church graduated from Livingstone College, which is a feat in itself, of course, to have all your kids graduate from college. And especially during this era, so you can tell that she was a strong woman and raised a strong influential family. 
the Greek, the Chief Institute of Higher Learning in the American, um, African American Methodist Episcopal Zion Church, um, which was um, the Livingstone College. And we still have that for those of you who wish to um, let your kids attend a prestigious college. And why um, I mention this, a lot of people don't know that the AME Zion community does offer scholarships to these different colleges that we all support. And you should get with your local um, clergy or missionary department or Christian education department to find out about some of these scholarships and stuff that the AME Zion do offer within its congregation. So if you do not know about these things, because I'm looking at the lines, you look at the Yes, we, we do all of those. So when you give me your tithes and your offerings and you're wondering where is all this money going, we support colleges. And this is one of them. And there are scholarships. And they are not that hard to get. Basic minimum. C GPA for a lot of them. So just ask about them. You know, you write an essay, have a good GPA, and you're in the running for a scholarship. Now, um, is there anything else anybody would like to add or anything um, about the missionary, any upcoming events or anything? Yes, we have listed the upcoming events. We are we're supporting all our local churches. We are going to have an event. They're having revival. Metropolitan's having something tomorrow at three o'clock at their church. You know all about know about the world again. Okay, Many know who lost the wars. The Low Max Hannum. Men of Zion Retreat is coming up. Perhaps some of our men will get a chance to go in the district. The third mass gathering, Elder has published the program, and he'll talk more about that as we depart today. During the third mass, during the third mass gathering district conference, we will do our prayer breakfast at 8 o'clock Saturday, June 10th, among other things. We will honor our graduates on June 9th at 6 o'clock. So if you have high school and college graduates, June 9th at 6 o'clock, we, we will be at Taylor's Chapel doing all these wonderful things. You know about Mrs. Crenshaw's banquet. It's traditional to honor a missionary supervisor every four years. She'll be honored at an old Met town on June the 17th at 11 30. We are planning a wonderful celebration. And if you can't go down, please get up early and get that before 11 30. Amen? Amen. Amen. I think those are the big announcements. There may be others. Are there any others? Ellie, you, you can wait to have to speak if you want to talk about this. All right. Thank you, Ms. Dowd. Okay, thank Mr. you. Mr. Now we come to our speaker and I'll in a in a song by Mr. Ray. Rita Rutledge will be our special speaker this afternoon. She is one of us. She grew up with us. She raised her babies with us, her twin girls and all of that. And her great ladies. We are proud of her. And Reverend, and you got evangelistic teams and all that we have. They are committed, they are Zion's best, and Rita received special favor. She was allowed because of the teacher shortage and because of her commitment to the, to the community and her school. She's now going to school and right. become certified. Amen. Praise, Praise the, the teacher. Lord. Praise the Lord. Our salary will jump tremendously. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everything. But Rita is finishing up her program. She was touched by God. Amen. They reached and saw. All right. Here's one of the many parents that did her work. This power is in school. Okay. Get with this certified teacher. I'm proud of her. Amen. Amen. One of us, she's a missionary. She's Christian education. She's special education. She does it all. We could stand here all night. 
her showers, her crowns, and my love. We're not going to do it because she's who she is. Sister Dre, would you give us something? And then she will speak to us. I am troubled, but not distressed. Hopeless, yeah. but not in despair. I'm a vessel full of power. I've got a treasure none can compare. Persecuted but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. Holy Ghost power. I've got a treasure from the Lord. Bruised and battered, but not broken. Born in sin, but from sin. Holy Ghost power. Come on, I've got a treasure from the Lord. So thank you, Father, for your power. It has resurrected me. Oh, Every now and then I've had some painful circumstances that my poor soul could not flee. So thank you, Father. Hey, thank you, Father, for your power. How many thank him for his power? Yeah. It has raised a wretched me. Oh, the painful. God knows I've had some painful circumstances that my poor soul could not flee that my poor soul could not flee so ain't no need of worrying of what tonight is gonna bring but it'll be all over in the morning it's in the morning, the morning, it'll be all over in the morning, in the morning, the morning, it'll be all over. In the morning, trust me and believe it'll be all over in the morning, and then it won't always be like this. My God will perfect that concerning me, and sooner or later. It'll turn in your favor sooner or later. It'll turn in your favor. If you believe that, just say, 
Just pray that your word go forth, oh God. And Lord, that your word fall on good grounds, oh God. And Father God, Lord, thank you for allowing me this opportunity to speak to your people today. And your son Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The theme for the missionary luncheon is globally committed to share God's love, agape love, to globally committed. Do you know the word commitment means a state of being dedicated to a cause? It's a blessing that we are all dedicated to the cause of being a missionary in the AME Zion Church. For we were dedicated to this cause because we have agreed to follow Christ and to love one another. Missionaries are usually sent or called for a mission to promote Christianity and to do ministry. They go out into the world spreading the gospel and providing services to the people. They do this with love, a God paid love. First John 4, 16 says, we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us. So we also give up our lives to our brothers and sisters. Yeah. This is true love, a God paid love. Mm -hmm. Verse 17 says, if someone has enough money to live well and see a brother or sister in need, but shows no compassion, how can God's love be in that person? Oh, Amen. Man. Shine on that person who does not show love to a person in need. Mm -hmm. right. Real love is action, not feeling, not uh -huh. feeling. The greatest act of love is in John 3, 16. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, yeah. that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have yeah. eternal life. Mm -hmm. It's a great act to give of yourself to help others. These verses I'm giving are good examples how we are to give up our lives for others. Yeah. It takes commitment to give your life for a cause. We might not be there yet because it might take some examination of our lives to help us find out how to get committed. All right. Let's think about what's going on today. There are a few in numbers. People are sitting down just chilling. As the young people say, just staying out the way. <laughs> Do you believe people have made items of things that are not biblical or doesn't relate to missionary work? Mm -hmm. Are we idolizing the past until we get stuck on what we used to do? Mm -hmm. Are we just chilling and remembering so fondly of how it used to be or how it should be done? I have heard the conversations about Mrs. Henderson and Mrs. Hawkins and how they did things mm -hmm. around here, around the church. Mm -hmm. These women had faith to believe that the cause can be done. Those were the glory days when the missionaries of the church did a lot of giving of their time mm -hmm. to make things happen. They were wise women of faith. Well, the missionary message for today is, what's different about today? Mm -hmm. Let's think about it. Doesn't God give us the wisdom like he gave our ancestors Come and we made their fruit? Mm -hmm. While reading in my meditation book this week, 
I saw these scriptures. Exodus 35, 31 through 35. And it reads, the Lord has filled Bezalel with the spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. He is the master of craftsmen, expert in working with gold, silver, and bronze. He is skilled in engraving and mounting gemstones and carving wood. He is a master at every craft. And the Lord has given him an Ohaliah, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, the ability to teach their skills to others. Let's go back to the beginning of Exodus 35, where Moses called the children of Israel together. He asked people with different abilities to help with the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. I do believe we all have different gifts and talents to yes. use for the glory of God. Yes. We are not the same. Right. These people gave willingly to the tabernacle. They gave because they knew how important their giving was to complete God's tabernacle and temple. These people were on a mission to do God's will. Do you understand how important it is to be totally committed to a cause? Mm -hmm. The verse says, the Lord filled Bethlehem with the Spirit of God. What are you filled with? We can ask for the Spirit of God to come on great in the church, community, schools, or wherever it is needed. Everything we do, it should be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. We must now ourselves to Christ's sake. Moses was led to lead the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. These people were creative people. We have some creative and skilled people sitting right here among us today. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful everything is today. Yeah. Yeah. God is amazingly creative, and his spirit dwells in us. We were created in his image, so that means that we are to be created. Don't be afraid to try new things. All right. There may be something we could do different today than what they did years ago. Yeah. Every ministry is different. All right. It's okay to get about get out of our same routine of doing the same thing. Come on. A great deal of creativity is within us. And God wants to show us how to tap into that creativity. Mm -hmm. Don't get tired of doing things. The same. Don't you get tired of doing things the same old way? Mm -hmm. Well, God enjoys, God enjoys variety. Why do you think he gave us all something different to work with? Mm -hmm. Ask God what you can do different from your ancestors. Sometimes a change from sameness is refreshing. Mm -hmm. Always walk in wisdom. But don't be afraid to step out and try something new. God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has filled you with creativity and originality. Be bold and courageous and do something you have never done before. God wants us to be wise in our living. God filled Bethlehem with wisdom. And this wisdom has to do with responsibility, mm -hmm. which is given to him in constructing the tabernacle and its furnishings. Take on the responsibility of being committed to a task to help in your ministry, in your missionary department. Wisdom becomes vital to us in regards to our place in the church of God. Understanding about the spirit of God himself and what he does in our conversion. When we have accepted Jesus Christ as our savior, we should feel a change for the better. This change helps us to transform into a new person. We leave the old person behind and move on into a new life. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we should become wise about how to build our ministries in the church. These guys already had the skills, but God incre increased their natural ability to function at a higher level than normal. We all <coughs> use and increase. Your gifts are already there. Use them wisely and ask for an increase. Right. Will he not give us powers greater than we have by nature? He does this by his spirit and stirring up the spirit man 
as we become more skilled in our abilities, knowing how to collaborate and communicate <laughs> with other people is increased as well. Mm -hmm. We should not reach a limit just being content and continue to do the same old, same old routinely stuff. All right. We should not limit ourselves on what we can do. In order to do a work for God, he will empower us to go beyond what is normally <coughs> possible for humans to do. Yes. Nothing is too hard for our God. Mm -hmm. It can get difficult, but not impossible. Come on. God gave these craftsmen that supernatural strength for them to operate on his behalf to produce good fruit within the purpose of God. God gives us all a purpose. <clears throat> the plan is to follow through. We might not know what we are capable of until we begin to see its fruit. Matthew 7, 16 says, you will know them by their fruit. That is, by the way they act. Choose to bear good fruit. These craftsmen were filled with the Holy Spirit. They received wisdom and ability to do God's will. We as missionaries should be seeking the same thing to carry out our missions for loving on God's people. God gives us grace and mercy every day. We are here for a reason and he sends his love. He has given his son Jesus the Christ. Without the love of these craftsmen, Without the love of God, these craftsmen wouldn't be able to complete their assignment. We should have a love for him in order to keep moving towards the goal, which is to follow God's plan for building of his kingdom. In the scriptures, did you hear that God has given these craftsmen the gift to teach the field to the other people? They have the spirit in them, the wisdom of God, the ability to be creative, and now the expertise to teach. <clears throat> Share what has been given to you. Some of us have the gift of teaching about what is to be done in the church and increasing of our people's knowledge. If God gives you something for the missionaries, feel free to share it. Why not share? Sharing is caring. Again, let us love one another, no matter what the circumstances may be. Jesus laid down his life for us. Why not share with our brothers and sisters? Some of our people don't know what a missionary is or why they exist. Share the knowledge to the people. Teach so they can learn. Make sure you make sure you share Christ. Let them know that Mary Magdalene, Susanna, and Joanna were the missionaries who traveled with Jesus. Finding missionary efforts opening their homes to Paul and apostles. They provided for Jesus of the, out of their resources. Resources are good to have when providing and sharing with God's people. Love unconditionally, in season and out of season. Help God's people. Serve God's people. Do good to God's people. Be ready to receive your blessings for doing the will of God. Here are several ways to love others. Show love by listening, by generosity, by encouraging one another with acts of kindness and praying for others. It is possible to show God's love. Did you hear me? It is possible to show God's love. I'm pretty sure these craftsmen had great joy in order for them to be so given of their possessions, time, and talent. Moses called on the community. Let us call on our community to come and help. When he called, they were willing. They did it willing. This is a great example to call on one another to help build and be creative. They did it willingly and unblushed. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you, Reverend Rita. Amen. You know, um, one thing we all know, if you are willing, if you are able, not only willing, to willing, Abel has nothing to do with anything we do. Abel has nothing to do, I have anything to do with it. It's your, it's willing. Amen. When you're willing, you can carry out anything as Reverend Rita was telling us. And if you're willing to do it, all you have to do is just ask God. Ask God. God has it all, and God would give it all. So we all are missionaries, and maybe there's somebody here today who don't think they are missionaries. I'll offer an invitation to you right now to come give me your hand, get God in your heart. Because our God is willing, God needs each one of us to carry out a good work. As uh, Rita alluded into her message, God has not given us a spirit of fear. Nope. Y'all don't hear that. Nope. God has not, ain't that right, Rita? He has not given us that spirit of fear, Amen. but that of a sound mind. Yeah. So that means that if you want to do it and get it done, God will give it to you. Don't worry about nobody else. So if is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Amen. Amen. Amen.